children there are two bra main branches of law that is civil law and criminal law civil law this this law deals with conflicts which affect or interfere with the rights of a person for example conflicts regarding land and property rent agreement divorce etc after filing a petition in the relevant court the said court gives a decision so children civil law deals with conflicts which affect or interfere with the rights of a person conflicts regarding land and property rent agreement divorce etc are resolved by civil law and what is criminal law serious crimes are dealt under criminal law for example theft robbery dowry murder etc in these cases the first step is to file a first information report it is known as f i r so children what is the full form of f i r that is first information report the police investigates the matter and then a petition is filed in the court if the charges are proved there are provisions for severe punishment so children serious crimes such as theft robbery dowry murder etc are dealt under criminal law in these cases the first step is to file a first information report that is fir with the police the police investigates the matter with the help of fir and then files a petition in the court if the charges are proved there are provisions for severe punishment so children you have come to know about the branch branches of law in india one is civil law and another is criminal law now i am going to discuss about the last part of the topic that is the contribution of indian judiciary it is very important the indian judiciary has made significant contribution in the development of the country children there is respect and trust on the common people in the judicial system of the country the judiciary has protected individuals freedom and federal system and the constitution of india it is very important children that the judiciary has protected individuals freedom the federal system and the constitution of our country they have played a greater role in strengthening the democracy in india so children about the indian judicial system you came to know what is the necessity to have laws in our country then also you came to know about the necessity for judicial system then i discuss about the structure of judiciary it is integrated judicial system in our country you have come to know about supreme court appointment of supreme court judges 
provisions for protecting the independence of judiciary, eligibility and tenure of Supreme Court judges, judicial activism and the functions of the Supreme Court. Today I have introduced the topic with judicial review. What is judicial review? If any law passed by the legislature or any act of the executive violates any provision of the constitution, the said law or act is declared illegal and struck down by the Supreme Court. And this power of the court is known as judicial review. Children, then I have discussed about the public interest litigation that is known as PIL. You also have come to know about High Court. High Courts having jurisdiction over more than one state. I have discussed about Mumbai High Court, Gauhati High Court, Kerala, Kolkata and Chandigarh. You have come to know the functions of High Court. District and lower court is also discussed and then the branches of law in India that is civil law and criminal law and the last part of the topic that is also discussed in detail that is the contribution of Indian judiciary. So children now you have to read the topic in detail. You should read your textbook. Uh, the exercise uh, question answers uh, you will get the PDF uh, tomorrow uh, but before that you should go through the topic, you should read your textbook and I think if you read your textbook and if you uh, go through the video carefully then it will not be a problem for you to understand the topic in detail. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.